Next question is from Jen Rose Hare. What are your thoughts on using a chiropractor for adjusting back issues? If you go to a chiropractor mm. and all they do is adjust you, they suck. Yeah. Don't go to them anymore. That's my. That's a. That's a hundred percent. You're just uh, looking to get cracked. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. So it's, a, it's the same to me as a, if you go to a trainer and all they do is work you out hard. Mm -hmm. yep. That's if you go and Very you similar. hire a personal trainer and your first five sessions look like this, you just getting your ass kicked and you show you coming back up. Your trainer sucks. Totally. Chiropractor is the same way. If you go see your chiropractor and all he does is pop you, crack you, make you feel good for that moment, and you go and that's all of what you get from him. Terrible chiropractor. Right. Now here's why. Okay. If you do an adjustment on somebody and they feel better, but you don't correct the reason why they're out of alignment. I'm putting in quotes because that's their terminology, right? If you don't correct the reason why they're in pain in the first place, if you don't correct the root cause of why they're out of alignment, they're just going to go back to where they were before, and then they're going to have to come see you again. And so you see this pattern with some chiropractors where they'll sell these big set, these big packages of sessions, and you got to go see them every single week. I got to go see my chiropractor on, on every Monday, otherwise I start to feel bad. Here's what a good chiropractor looks like. They use adjustments judicious, judiciously, but they use a lot of exercise and correctional movements and mobility movements to correct the root cause of why you're hurting in the first place. Those are the ones you want to go see. But the adjusting people, who, and then even worse, I don't remember what they called it, but it was like this. In the chiropractor world, there's like these, these people that, that teach chiropractors how to make more money. Mm -hmm. And one of the strategies was to have lots of beds lined up in the same room and you set people up in these beds and you adjust this person, adjust that person, yeah. adjust. And so you see six or seven people. Like, like a factory line. Yeah. And I don't remember what it was called, but there was, there was a terminology for it. And it was just, I remember one time one of my clients went to one of these people. The whack them and crack And I factory. saw it and I'm like, oh, this is a, this is just an adjustment factory. And yeah. the dude's charging everybody here. I've been the one like that where it's like they, they break up the appointments like eight minutes apart mm. oh, wow. for the entire hour. So, you you know, this person's getting in five, five, eight people in every every hour. Well, to you also have to play, place a little bit of guilt uh, back on the consumer coming in because the expectation for them is that uh, they're going to feel good and be relieved in that instant moment and then walk out and, you know, go about their day. But it just doesn't stop there. Like you have to look for somebody that actually is going to give you a plan and, you know, get to the root of the issue and, and give you something of substance. Well, this is why it's so deceiving. I mean, that was why it was so hard as a trainer to like explain this to clients that had chiropractors. And many times I get a client and they had a, they've had a chiropractor for three years and they love him or her. But I feel good. Yeah, exactly. When they, when they adjust because they go so do it and and they and doesn't even matter. You can sit there and explain yeah. everything you just talked about right now. And it's like, it's like in now, one year out the other you're... because I feel better every time I do it. So and the and the truth is it's the, the adjusting part is not the bad part. It's just they, they need to complement that with exercises yes. and stretches to go along with yes, it. You yes. know, and, and honestly, uh, uh, it, it, my, and this is my opinion because maybe some chiropractors have different, but I, I like a chiropractor who doesn't even put you on a table and adjust you for the first like few sessions. The first few sessions. They're doing assessments. Exactly. Just, that's how I feel like a trainer is. A tra if, if a trainer gets you and it's day one, he just met you, and he's out kicking your ass on the floor right away, he's yep. a fucking terrible trainer. Yep. Yeah. The for, for me, the first at least three to four sessions is feeling my client out, watching them move, watching them squat, watching them lift away, watching them get up off the ground, asking them questions, assessing their diet. Like All these things factor in when I'm designing a program for them that, that's going to get them not only their results, but also serve them long term. A good chiropractor should do the same thing. Yep.